Time to put the other part on there now if I want the extension. Oh, yeah, there we go. Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I'm here today to review three very unusual types of Japanese candy made from fish, believe it or not. And I got this on eBay. You see that I have, like, the declaration right there of Customs decoration, air mail, small packet right there, and also they have some Japanese right there, and uh, you know, it's on eBay. And this is it came in this wrap thing right here. It's a three pack of a, a different assorted Japanese candies. This was originally a dollar ninety nine listing price plus free shipping handling. I got a little bit of a discount on, so I got it for a dollar eighty. And there's three of these. Japanese Tagashi snack candies, taro candies, um, and it said like Tagashi is like a penny candy or something like that in Japan. And there's three of them. There's uh, Yaki Niku taro candy, and they got the Kaiba ya Yaksi uh, taro candy, and then they got the wasabi. The wasabi one's kind of easy to find out the taro candy right there. I'm gonna try all three. Now this one right here, I'll go for this one right here. First one, this is the uh, Yaki Niku. And this is, what this is, is, I, I had to look up a bunch of stuff. It's, uh, the Yaki Niku is, refers to Japanese Korean barbecue, which is associated with meat-like beef. However, uh, Toki Niku San Taro is a snack made from fish paste, not meat. This is probably barbecued. Meat flavored fish snack. Oh, and you see, like, show you up close to the packaging right there. Right there. Wait, let me make sure I'm getting this right. Right to here. And then on the back. Right there. Let's open it up. This is what it looks like. Oh, wow. It smells like a sticky. That smells like fish. It's really weird. It's like a kind of like a jerky or something like that, but very sticky. I like the flavor. You can definitely taste. It's kind of like a barbecue by Asian barbecue flavor. Meat. Very flavorful, but unusual. It's so stick. I'm going to use more of my wet nap from a Norwegian MRE. See my hand, I'm eating these. They're pretty good. I, I give the Yaki Niku, that's how you pronounce it, Yaki Niku Santoro, Gachi Snack. Mm. 9 out of 10, that was really good. I needed more of the savory snacks, a lot like sweet snacks, even though the list has candy. Next is, uh, oh my gosh. Oh man. Next is, uh, Kabayaki, and this is a preparation of fish, uh, especially unagi eel, where the fish is split down the back for, or belly, gut and bone, and butterfly, skewered, and they have a listing of what this is, well, it's made, okay, Kabayaki Santoro is a famous dagashi snack that is made by baking a plate of fish, walleye pollock paste, which is seasoned with squid flavoring, Mirin sweet cooking uh, rice wine, soy sauce, soy on, and so on. This fish paste tagashi is salty, sweet, and the texture is pretty hard and tough. That makes kids savor the flavor. Now, a lot of this is properly uh, famous with kids. Flavor well. Available for like 10 yen at some, most supermarkets in Japan. Like I said, I paid 
dollar eight for all three of these. I mean, the guy's making. You know, I live in a dinky little town. They don't have nothing. So I'll be able to get this for a dollar. Three different flavors for a dollar eighty with free shipping. It's good. It's just really. Oh my God! It's really sticky. I didn't show the. Let me show the packaging. Hold it back up. I said it's very sticky though. But anyway, when I got it, it was like super hot out last week. Right there. And on the back. Let's try this out. I'm sticking the other stuff. That smells almost the same. Mmm. Definitely a fish to your taste, but boy, it's really good. I like that a lot. More fishier. Well, that was a little more. Uh, the other one, a little more of a sweeter. Well, that's sweet too. Good barbecue flavor. That's delicious. Nine and a half out of ten for that one. Let me see. Ten yen. See how much this, I would say each candy costs ten yen. You know, I'm going to go with the metric uh, money conversion. See how much this would have cost. Converter. You know how much three of these would have cost in regular uh, cashola? Well, I want to go to the yen. Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm curious about that. I mean, you know, it might be a longer video, and I still got to uh, you know, flip it over. Okay, let's see. It'll take a second. All right. I'm really curious now. See how much it would have cost. Oh, poop. Hit the wrong one. You can find out with me. Japanese yen to American dollar. <clears throat> okay, the American dollar. Dollar to make you holla. Ten. Whoop. Hit the wrong one. Ten. Hmm. It says. So essentially, <coughs> this would have been 30 cents in Japan plus whatever it would cost to send it over. So that's all right. I spent a dollar eighty. That's okay. I mean, I, I get to try these for the first time, probably the last time, but I get to, get to try these. And this right here is the wasabi. And wasabi is uh, horseradish. And a lot of times, you see wasabi here. Oh, that's dead. The, um, right here, it's like a very strong horse, right? I mean, but a lot of times you see the wasabi here, it's just, um, it's not the real stuff. It's like, uh, horse with green food coloring. But this is, maybe this is the real wasabi. Let's try it out. And you see, like, that's the easiest one to pick out of the flavors because you see the root right there. So let's try this out. Oh, wow. I know it's not, it might not be as thick as the other one. Well, not as sticky. But like I said, this is out in the sun, too. Get that. It is still somewhat sticky. Right away, you get a very sharp horse rice flavor. This is really good. All three of these were really pleasant. A little bit broke off. Mm. This is my favorite of the three. And the very good, if you like horse rice, it's very sticky though.
And they have a little description of it. Where's the wasabi one? Wasabi Norotaru. Higashi snack. Known to be, uh... Main ingredient are fish meat and squid powder. Japanese snack is the same type of gotcha as kabayaki and santaro. It has a tough te texture, but seasoned with soy sauce and marin. Everyone like kabayasha and The snack features having a sharp taste. Come with wasabi. Yeah, that's great for Japanese horseradish. It said that, yeah, it goes. It says it goes well with beer. I don't have any beer with me right now. I should have got some. But that's all right. So there you have it. Are three flavors of unusual uh, Gavin Degashi candy. Let's see where I'm at. So what I'm going to do now, my hands are very sticky. I'm going to use one of the disinfectant things from uh, wipes from my um, Arctic field ration. Oh man, that's strong. That's like this is more of an alco alcoholic wipe. I think it's to wipe your mouth. My mouth is real sticky too. They're very good, but very very sticky. I'm not using alcohol to wipe my mouth. But I mean, if you, I mean, these are. I highly recommend if you're able to get these. I know Paul from Crick Leaf Japan probably had all these. They're wonderful. Hope you like this video, buddy. Put this in the pack, in the back in the envelope. Until next time, but I mean the Japanese really think of everything. As far as like snacks and stuff. I mean, if you're like a uh, Paul from Crick Leaf Japan, he's really lucky. You know, if you're into like food and stuff like that, that's the place to go. I love to try all the vending machines, all the neat stuff they have there. That'd be wonderful. Hope you liked this video, everybody. Till next time, please. Camera Legion.